The Central Asian nation is witnessing a political situation with the Taliban taking control of the 20-year American war on terror in the country. As a result, the United Nations Development Program has joined the calls for peace, respect for human rights, and access to development assistance in Afghanistan. Here's more details of that in this report. Seven days after the Taliban took power in Afghanistan, the flow of people trying to flee continues to overwhelm the capital. The United Nations Development Program on Friday issued a statement on Afghanistan over the current situation noting that the natural disasters and the coronavirus pandemic could imperil the fragile development and the rights of the vulnerable women and girls. UNDP Administrator Achim Stena expressed commitment to render humanitarian support to the people of Afghanistan with early recovery and COVID-19 responses to prevent massive displacement of people. After the Taliban was ousted from power in 2001, the U.S.-backed government gave room for women and children to work and be educated. Compared to the previous Taliban repressive rule, where women had previously been allowed to work in a limited range of jobs. U.N. spokesperson Eric Kaniko said the emerging humanitarian and development crisis triggered by paralyzed state institutions could destroy the development progress over the past 22 years. The UNDP statement also indicated that they will stay in Afghanistan to render humanitarian service as a moral imperative in these critical times. After seizing light swords of territory in recent months, the Taliban took over Kabul on Sunday following weeks of rapid gains for the insurgent group with little or no resistance from the military. President Ghani fled the country on the same day. The United Arab Emirates on a statement said they are hosting the president and his family on humanitarian grounds. The departure of President Ghani and other senior officials leaving millions of citizens behind triggered bitterness for the citizens who feared the Taliban will rule Afghanistan with the same repressive hardline practices it implemented during its reign from 1996 to 2001. Kriyatuseka, I African News.